Now the Vedas in the Karmakanda section mainly deal with the subject of the three modes of material nature. Now Krishna says, rise above this and be transcendental. Be free from all dualities and from all anxieties for gain and safety. Be established in the self. Atmavan. Become established in the reality of your spiritual constitution. Atmavan. Atma. That is a Sanskrit word for soul. Krishna is called the Paramatma. And we are part of him. Therefore we are called Atma. There are so many Atmas. And he is the Paramatma. He is the Supreme Atma. Just like the uh, Upanishad says. Nitya nitinanam chaitanas chaitananam. Ekonam eko vonam. Uh, eko bohum neovidadati kaman. Eko means one. There is one Supreme Personality who is referred by the name God, Krishna, Paramatma. Different names are there. The Supreme Source from which all others come. And we were discussing earlier. So God is the Supreme Eternal. Therefore we are sparks like the, the fire. So we are eternal. There are many eternals. There are many conscious beings. But He is the Supreme Conscious Being. He is the Supreme Eternal. So become fixed in this reality, Atmavan. Become possessed of uh, this knowledge that you are part and parcel of that Supreme Reality. And so the highest self-interest must be that which satisfies the Supreme Self. God is the Supreme Self. You are part of Him. In one sense, mankind is uh, self-motivated, then we must think, what is the higher self? If the Supreme Lord is the higher self, then we should work for that higher self. Work to please God. We live in this world, and we think our supreme goal is to satisfy these senses, this body. But if we understand there's a higher self besides this self, this physical self, then we should work for the benefit of that higher self. And if we understand the highest self is the supreme self from which the many eternals come, then the philosophy of the Upanishad is understood. By pouring water upon the root of the tree, all the leaves, the branches and flowers become satisfied. So Krishna is the root cause. God is the root cause from which everything else has come. And if we serve Him, the Supreme Source from which everything else has come, then automatically, like pouring water upon the root of the tree, everything blooms. <laughs> everything remains healthy. And uh, uh, the fruits become sweet. And the flowers become fragrant. Because you're pouring water upon the root. You don't pour water on the individual uh, flower or fruit or leaf or branch or twig. That is not the process pour water on the root. So, the science of self-realization, as is being described here in Bhagavad Gita, is learning how to perform our works in the service of God. Pouring water, or doing the things we do uh, in His service, like pouring water upon the root. Offering our work to God. Then automatically, what? We become peaceful. We become happy. We become Abhai, without fear. <laughs> without fear, without anxiety, just like we gave the example before. Because we've taken shelter of the highest principle, the Supreme Reality, who has nothing to fear. If you have such a powerful friend, then where shall uh, anxiety take shelter? It'll have to go away, go somewhere else. <laughs> it won't find any room here because we're feeling happy that we have such a friend to protect us. So Krishna says, uh, be free from all dualities, from all anxieties for gain and safety. Be established in the self. Be established in the reality that you are part and parcel of the Supreme. And your best self-interest <laughs> is to dedicate yourself to the service of or the will of God. Act in a way in which the Supreme Lord will be satisfied 
and you will be satisfied also. If you feed the stomach, you need some food, feed the stomach, and the whole body is healthy, right? Because <laughs> it's sent out to all parts of the body. Krishna is like that. Offer all your works to Krishna and you'll find the most miraculous thing, uh, miraculous thing happens. By satisfying Krishna, you become satisfied. Live your life in dedication to the Supreme, to the dedication of God, and you'll find that by offering everything at His lotus feet, you're being nurtured, you're feeling healthy, you're feeling whole, you're feeling complete. Om Purnamada Purnamidam. Actually, Isha Upanishad says we're all perfect and complete in essence. But our perfect and completeness is in cooperation with the Supreme Whole, the Supreme Completeness, Krishna. So this is the formula. So Krishna gives the advice here. Now Arjun, you become free from all dualities. You become free from all anxieties. And you become established in this reality. Become established in the Self. Know thyself. And uh, by knowing the nature of the Supreme Self, knowing the Supreme Reality, Krishna, uh, you'll be happy. You'll feel satisfied. There will be no more fear, no more anxiety. Therefore, uh, the Krishna Consciousness philosophy, the science of self-realization, as given in Bhagavad Gita, is that which is required by mankind. As we were discussing earlier, everyone is feeling anxiety, and here Krishna gives the formula. Dedicate your life in my service. All that you do, Krishna says later, all that you do, all that you eat, all that you uh, give away, all austerities you perform, do for me. Just learn that art of working for me, Krishna says. And be established, Atmavan, in the Self. And you'll find complete satisfaction. A satisfaction that you've never known before. Thank you very much. Jai Gaur Pemanandi Hari Hari Bhav.